Hey, what's going on, everyone? Josh here with Piano Marvel. And today I'm going to show you how to connect to Piano Marvel via Bluetooth MIDI. And as you can see right now, I am connected uh, via this MDBT01 MIDI device. So I need to show you, well, first of all, I, I need to disconnect from it, but I also want to show you what this device is and then show you kind of how I got it connected, okay? So let's just first off go over here. We'll disconnect my Bluetooth. We'll turn off Piano Marvel, and then we'll turn back on Bluetooth. And we're gonna try to mimic what it looks like to actually connect for if you've never connected before, okay? But before I do that, let me show you what I'm using, the MDBT01. It looks like this, okay? I've used this for years. I love it. It's really, really awesome. It uses these five pin MIDI connectors right here that go into your piano MIDI and an out ports. Now, you might be thinking, okay, I don't have MIDI in and out ports, the five pins like that. Do I have an option for Bluetooth MIDI? And good news, I have a device also that I've used um, and it works really well. It's this MDBT01. And if you've ever connected to Piano Marvel uh, via a cable and the adapter, the camera adapter kit, it will work. It's the same thing. Instead of going into the adapter kit, you would just plug in the USB B to A cable right here into this device. And then this other side, this side right here would go into like a cube, like an iPhone cube charger or something. And that just, that will power this thing right here to broadcast a Bluetooth signal for your iPad to pick up or your iPhone or what have you. Okay. So two great options right there. I love those. They work really well. And I'll just say too, I love Bluetooth MIDI, okay? Not having the cable to have to plug in, it just makes your life so much easier. And I've noticed no problems with latency or anything like that. So I really recommend these devices. Just, they make things so much easier, okay? Um, one little disclaimer before I get on to actually showing you how to connect is you might notice over here on my Bluetooth that I have um, this, it says CLP775 MIDI, and audio. And if you're familiar with Yamaha Clavinovas, um, even if you're not, you, you may be familiar with this concept. Some pianos have what's called built-in Bluetooth MIDI support, okay? So you may not even need to buy the Yamaha devices that I recommended or some other device. I know there's probably other Bluetooth MIDI devices out there. I know CME makes some. I've never tried it, but I've heard good things. Um, regardless, some pianos have this built-in. Usually they're more fancy pianos. Uh, and if you want to connect to Piano Marvel via that, you know, it's, it's possible and it's great. It works totally fine. Uh, I just wanted to mention that there is an extra step you will need to do to make sure that you're broadcasting Bluetooth and it's like able to discover the actual piano's Bluetooth the first time. It's kind of like if you connect to, you know, a speaker or AirPods or something like that. Like you need to tell your phone to, and you need to tell the device that you're trying to go to, hey, go into Bluetooth discover mode so that my phone can pick it up. And that's kind of what needs to happen here. So you, you may need, I know on my, my Yamaha, I need to go over here to the settings and like actually turn on Bluetooth discover mode. And then it'll show up in the menu that I'm gonna show you later. But the good thing is, uh, again, on these two devices, the UDBT01, and the MDBT01, these are always discoverable, okay? So it's gonna be really easy with these devices. I just wanted to give that bit of a disclaimer, okay? So now I've laid the foundation. We are ready to jump in. So let's go to Piano Marvel, okay? I'm gonna go into it. And uh, once this splash screen is done, you can see it's saying no device is connected to the Piano Marvel app. So I'm gonna connect to it. And to do that, I need to go to the instrument settings, which is up here in the top left by clicking on this menu, which I don't know if you know, but this is called a hamburger menu, okay? So click on the hamburger menu, a drop down will come and it says instrument settings. You wanna click on that to open up this screen. Uh, now, if you're already in a song, this is just a fun little fact. Uh, if you click on mixer and then you click on select MIDI device, connect new device, you can also get there, okay? Um, so let's jump into it. You can see I'm not connected to a piano because if I was, it would be showing up right here. And you can also tell because this is kind of grayed out and so is this. So I need to connect uh, either to a wired MIDI connection, which would automatically show up in this little square or rectangle. Um, or like I said, I need to connect via Bluetooth MIDI. And that's what this video is about. So I need to click on this Bluetooth MIDI settings button. 
I don't know why, but some people, like, this. it seems like it may be hidden to some people. Uh, so we may need to be updating this soon. But for now, you click on this button right here, and it's going to open up this iOS system dialog. And you're going to see that I have a MDBT01 and UDBT01 available to be connected to. They're not connected right now, okay? But they are available to be connected to. If they were connected to another device, I don't think they would even show up here. Uh, but they're not connected to anything right now. They're waiting and ready and willing to go. So all I need to do is click on the device. Boom. It'll say connecting. And then after a couple seconds, it will connect just like that. And then all you need to do, you can see these other things are now not grayed out anymore. So you can just click some. You can, let me set that down. And you can see it's now working. Okay. It's as simple as that. That is how you set up your Bluetooth mini. And again, I may have already said this. Um, I've been making this video a lot. I wanted to make it really quick and good for you. So if I said this again, please forgive me, but I love Bluetooth MIDI. I've been using it for years and it works perfectly. It, I, I used for years before that, I was using just regular plugged in uh, MIDI and it worked great. I loved it and I got to a system where it always worked fine. Uh, and that's the same thing that's going on with Bluetooth. The benefit of Bluetooth though is you can use it anywhere. You don't have to be plugged into another cable and I have so many cables. So it's one less cable to worry about. You don't have to worry about uh, its rigidity and it being reliable. It's always working perfect for me. And again, I love these Yamaha products. So you can feel free to use them um, if you're looking for a good one. They are kind of expensive, 50 to $70. Uh, but they they really work well. So uh, let me know if you have any questions. As always, I really hope that this video helps you. Uh, and I would love to help you more if you do need it. My email is josh at pianomarvel.com. Thank you so much for your time today. Happy practicing, and we will talk to you later.